All right, I just want to show you guys how to do a couple things on the calculator in case you have that and you want to use it. Uh, it's going to run a little slow because I'm running a video, but this um, this program, you can get it for free. It's called Wabbitemu. It's a free program you can download from the internet. You know how Elmer, Elmer Fudd would say, you know, rabbit. So it's Wabbitemu, and then you got to find a ROM on the internet. There, you know, the site you download Wabbitemu from will probably have a link to download a ROM. The ROM is just the image file. So you install this program, Wabbitemu, on Windows or Mac. You download the ROM, you double click this thing here, and you know, your calculator opens up. So um, in the calculator, you, know, you can calculate descriptive stats. So this stat key right here will help you out with that. So if you go to stat, again, it's going to run slow. But anyway, so here it is. You, this is your stat menu. You can edit a list, calculate stats, perform testing, which we, you know, I'm sure you remember that from stat one. But in option one here, you select option one for edit, and then you can type data into a list. There's, you know, six predefined lists in this menu. So I'm just going to make up some fake data here. Type in some fake data so that we have, uh, we can calculate some stats. All right, whatever, I got some fake data in there. So if I go to stat and move over to calculate, that's where you could ask the calculator to crunch all the descriptive statistics for you. So there, I moved over to calc, choose the very first option, one variable statistics. So you choose one there. And then you gotta tell it what list you're in. Now I put data in list number one in the calculator. So right there, L1, you can see it says L1 is above the number one, L2 is above number two. So if I go second, number one, so calculate the one bar stats on list one. Now, unlike Minitab Express, you can tell Minitab Express, you know, what kind of stats you want. For the TI-83 and 84, um, it, it's standard. You, you can't choose what, what it gives you. It's just going to give you whatever it wants. So the, the means there, the sum of the x's, sum of the x squares, is the sample standard deviation, the population standard deviation, the number of data values, it's n. Really, it should be, uh, yeah, it's a lowercase in there. And then here's your quartiles and your five-member summary. Um, so you know, min, max, and your, your 25th, 50th, and 75th percentiles. And that's all the stats it gives you, actually. So any other stat that you would want, you would have to calculate. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. If you have any questions, send me an email.